what do you do every day? Or what is your job description? A little bit of finance, marketing, strategy, human resources, operations. You have to, one of, this, one of the panelists said that he uses every class he took in the program. Uh, another thing that struck me is a big component is, is managing people. It's dealing with building the workforce and cultural issues, but it's also um, building the, the leadership team, making sure you have the right people, trying to figure out if you have the right people, trying to decide if it's time to let someone go and, and replace them, trying to figure out whether you can train them, develop them. And those issues are just timeless. Um, they've probably existed since the dawn of corporations. One of the CEOs um, said that he thought the way to approach his new position was to underpromise and then overdeliver, to meet and exceed expectations. And what he found to his surprise, I think he said it was the biggest surprise that he, that he encountered, was since his company is partly owned by a publicly traded corporation, a large publicly traded corporation, he has the same pressures um, that the CEO of that publicly traded corporation does. And in particular, uh, analysts and shareholders don't seem to want uh, you to exceed expectations. They want you to meet expectations. So instead of under-promising and over-delivering, he feels that the pressure is to promise and then deliver exactly what you promise. And you know, as an economist, that's a little hard to understand, except that shareholders don't like uncertainty and volatility, I guess. And maybe another interpretation of that is um, they would prefer CEOs to be candid and as accurate as they can in forecasting. I'm not so sure being a CEO is a glamorous job. They spend a lot of time in airports. They don't spend a lot of time at home. Uh, they get paid well, um, but their jobs are at risk. Uh, turnover of CEOs is much higher now than it was 10 years ago, um, and it's based on performance. Uh, if a company doesn't w do well, there's a good chance the CEO is going to be ousted. Uh, they're very lonely in the sense that they're isolated between the board and the employees, and um, you know, in some sense with no peer. They are the most accountable for the strategy and the success of it. They have to juggle uh, many different duties, wear many different hats. They have to uh, have some knowledge and some oversight of every functional area of the organization. Um, and additionally, in 2012, uh, the business environment is very uncertain right now. It's an election year. We're in a recession. Uh, the euro's in crisis. China's economy is slowing. India's, Brazil's. Um, these are very, very uncertain times. And just think there's enormous pressures on CEOs. I would find it to be an extremely stressful job. So if it's such a lousy job, why would anyone ever want to be a CEO? Well, you get paid well, of course, but I think, I think that's clearly a factor. But um, these are people who've been working hard and successful their whole career, but they've always reported it to someone else. They've always implemented someone else's ideas, at least at some level, even if they ran a business unit. It's a chance to finally run with the ball themselves.